Oh my god. YouTube what it is, man. It's your boy size so fly. I am no wave. I am no bridge, man. Not right now, son. So, in this video right here, we're gonna talk about the markets. Alright, now I don't know if you know what's going on or if you on the wave, but the market is crashing. Okay? And I don't know, hold on, before we have actually get started with this video, if you're not subscribed already, man, click subscribe, catch the wave, join the family. If you rock with me, like the video. If you are um, a subscriber, you should already like the video, son. Like, what's up? Uh, if you a trader, if you an investor, like the video, man. Show me some love. It don't cost you no money. You feel me? Just, just do it. It'll help me out. I'm asking you to do it. All right. But, um, yeah, the market is crashing. I, and specifically, as far as like when I say the market, I'm talking about the things that I trade, so like US 30 and Bitcoin. Those are the only two things I honestly, those are the only two things I care about. US 30 and Bitcoin, bro, them shits are crashing, and I am, I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know why the market is crashing like this. I know, you know, when it comes to the market, it goes up, it goes down, bullish, bearish, like things like that, but at the end of the day, I don't know what the hell is going on. I, I saw something about Warren Buffett. He sold like $75 billion worth of his stocks. $75 billion worth of stocks, son. What is going on? What would make Warren Buffett, if you don't know who that is, he's like one of the best um, investors like in the world or something like that. But he's a really good investor. And him selling all his stocks says a lot. I don't know what the hell it's saying, but it's saying something. So I know I've read something about him selling a bunch of his stocks. That's why the market was going down. I saw people talking about uh, Japan, something with something happened in Japan with they market uh, or with, with something with Japan and all they stuff going down. If y'all know what's going on, let me know in the comments. I posted something on uh, threads and I'll put it right here. I said, why is the market crashing? That's probably what I'm going to title this video. Why is the market crashing? Everybody had their opinions on why the market is crashing down in the comments. I didn't really read all those comments just because that's a lot of freaking comments to read. But, um, yeah, um, the reason why I'm so nervous about this and the reason why I'm so invested into this is because I have a lot of money in Bitcoin, okay? And when I say a lot of money, I mean, like, this shit is not even funny. I got all my money in Bitcoin. And, uh... Majority of my money is in Bitcoin, and it hits different when you see a significant loss in your money. Now, I'm not somebody, I've been investing in Bitcoin for a very long time. I'm not somebody, bro, my hair look crazy. What the fuck? I got my hair done ASAP. But I'm not somebody who, um, you know, who's new to Bitcoin or who just bought it at the top or nothing like that. Like, I've been investing into it for a long time, but at the same time, like, I've been buying it. I've been taking some out, buying it, taking some out. Like I've been making bread with Bitcoin this entire time, but I only buy Bitcoin. You feel me? So the fact that it's dropping right now, I just, I just see my money. I see my money drop significantly, and this shit is scary, son. It's not a good feeling, and I don't really know how to feel about this. All right, now we're gonna go to the charts and all that stuff. But um, yeah, if y'all, if y'all know what's going on. Let me know in the comments. If you feel like you know what's going on, if you probably know something that I don't know because I don't watch the news. I don't keep up with, you know, the markets and like I don't read news data and stuff like that. So, yeah, but um, let's go to the markets. Actually, before we do that, uh, let me just show you all my Discord. Although the market is going down, man, my Discord community, we are still making money. All right. So last month, my last video, I told you all we won 37 trades in a row. Um. Even till today, we are still making money today. Uh, we still haven't lost. So I don't know what our win streak is for the month of August, but we haven't lost for August. So we probably like seven, seven and oh. Yesterday, we went three and oh. Um, so we had three wins, two break evens. So we had three wins yesterday. And um, yeah, like I said, it's a six. So I don't even know what our record is for the month so far. I'll probably end up posting that on the community. If you want to get access to our trading signals and copy every single trade that we take, the link is in the description. Um, it's only $15 a week. Uh, just get that now before the price goes up. Now let's look at let's look at the market. All right. So first we'll we'll look at Bitcoin. Now when you look at it like this, when you look at it like this, is not it don't look that bad. 
You feel me? But when you zoom out a little bit and you see how much it was going up, you feel me? You see how how bullish it was, and now you just you just see it dropping like this. Like that shit is is very scary. And I'm gonna say that if price this was always my level, like yo, if, if price comes but goes below fifty three thousand, then shit gonna get real. And it definitely went below fifty three thousand. It definitely went below fifty three thousand. So yeah, man, that shit is is definitely scary. Now, um, before before we actually like analyze this stuff right here, I know this video is all over the place, but a lot of people be asking me like, "Yo, bro, what broker do you use?" Uh, we all, what broker you use? People asking that all the time. What's your broker, bro? Uh, I want to trade on MetaTrader Four, but I can't find a broker that work with MetaTrader Four. Uh, um, that's that allows me to trade in the United States. Listen, man, the broker that I use is called Coinex. I have a video. Um, I posted this, this a while ago, but if you type in how to set up Coinex, size so fly, it'll pop up. I right, yes, Coinex, it works with MetaTrader 4. Okay. And yes, if you are in the United States, yes, you can trade on Coinex. I right, actually, let's just go to Coinex real quick. Let's go to the website just so y'all can see it. Um, so this right here is the Coinex website. I, um, like I said, this is the broker that I use in real life. Yes, Coinex is a good broker. Yes, you are gonna get withdrawals. People always ask me that, like, yo man, what about the withdrawals? Like, like I've never had a problem with Coinex. Literally, every time I've ever withdrew from Coinex, like I literally get my bread every single time. And if I ever had a problem with Coinex, I literally, like, I literally type right here where it says product expert. Like I go to support just like how anybody else will. They always respond. Oh, it's a live person. And if I ever got a question, I just ask them. All right. Um, but this is the website right here. Like I said, this is a broker that I use in real life. Let me just show y'all just because I know people ask me this all the time. If you are in the United States, because I know people say, yo, man, you know, um, I don't see the United States on here. I can't sign up with the United States. Listen, if you are... Uh, if you are in the United States, yes, you can still use Coinex. You can just click any country. All right, you can click any country that you want and um, pretty much just sign up the regular way. All right, some people call it a glitch. Some people call it uh, uh, like a, a, a finesse. Listen, man, just click any country. If you're not in, if you in the United States, click any country, sign up. And if you have any problems from there, bro, just type in chat, uh, go to the chat, chat now, talk to a live person. And I'm telling you, we're gonna get through. All right, yes, you can trade on MetaTrader 4. Yes, you can trade on MetaTrader 5. All right, somebody For somebody like me, this is perfect because I don't use trade, uh, I don't use trading view. You feel me? I don't use that. I like MetaTrader 4. So I'm gonna go with whatever broker that still uses MetaTrader 4. And Coinex, they use MetaTrader 4. So like I said, uh, damn, and it's showing you live what's happening with Bitcoin, literally dropping right now. But um, yeah, last time I'm going to say it, the, the broker that I use is Coinex, man. Coinex, 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 all right? All right, so um, yeah, this is this is uh, Bitcoin right now. And let's just analyze it real quick. Now, I always tell y'all, you feel me, when it comes to the market, the market can only go in two directions. The market can either go up or the market can go down. It makes the same patterns every single time. When the market is going up, this is what it looks like. When the market's going down, this is what it looks like. All right, so um, I, we can. I'm not gonna do like months or weeks before. We'll talk about what's actually happening right now because that's all. That's all we care about. We want to know what's going on with the markets right now. So um, from here to here, we could all see that the market was going up. All right, and in one of my previous videos, I don't remember what video it was, but it was it was probably a few weeks ago. I think, if I'm not mistaken, price was right here, if I'm not mistaken. And I was telling y'all, was it right here? I feel like it was. And I was telling y'all, like, yeah, although uh, Bitcoin is bearish right now, this is still a good time to actually get in it because, uh, or I said, I would not get into Bitcoin until it breaks this level right here. Like, until Bitcoin um, goes back above 59,000, 59.5 thousand, that's when I'll be looking to, you know, start buying Bitcoin again. And you can see that's what happened. I um, mean, this I actually did buy more Bitcoin at this time. And um, yeah, it was literally going up. All right. Now, hold on. Let me just show y'all just, you know, real life examples, because you feel me just to show y'all like the stuff that I, the way that I trade is very simple, man. I know a lot of people, you know, got different strategies and stuff like that. But, you know, I like to keep it simple. So, boom, this is the same exact pattern 
as this right here, okay? And I always tell y'all, like, when it comes to me, man, all I do, I just look for the pattern. Like, as long as the market is making this pattern, uh, as long as the market is making this pattern on whatever time frame that I'm looking at, then I'm going to follow along. You feel me? I'm not a reversal trader. I follow the trend. All right, so um, I did buy Bitcoin, and um, I'm glad that I actually took out some Bitcoin. I actually sold some of my Bitcoin that I bought up here. I don't know why I did it. I just had a feeling. This is before the drop. So um, I think I sold some. I think I sold some around 66000 So I made a little bit of profit off of the Bitcoin that I bought. But mind you, I've been buying Bitcoin throughout this entire time. Um, and now we can see that it's dropping. And a lot of my profits is gone. You feel me now? It's not counted as a loss until I actually sell it, until I like get it out of my account. That's when it's counted as a loss. But as of right now, the reason why like my mood is down, the reason why I'm feeling kind of the way I'm feeling is because I seen uh, tens of thousands of dollars drop by tens of thousands of dollars. So like that shit is not a good feeling. All right. Um, but if we look at Bitcoin right now, we can see that um, it is dropping significantly. It literally went from 69,000 or it went from $70,000 all the way to $56,000. So that's what, $14,000, $15,000 that the market dropped. And I mean, it really went down even further. It went to 48,000. That's the lowest that it went to. Um, my bad. Uh, shit. Forgot what I was saying. Oh, but that's the lowest that that's the lowest that it went to, which is crazy. I um, but also if you, I don't, I invest in Bitcoin, which means that I only want Bitcoin to go up. You feel me? So I never sell it. I only want it to go up. So <clears throat> um, that's why whenever it goes down, it's bad for me. But if I traded Bitcoin. Like if I was a, somebody who traded Bitcoin every day, I wouldn't be worried if it was going up or down because when you trade something, you can make money whether it goes up or whether it goes down. And if I traded Bitcoin, I can literally see, um, I can literally see the pattern that it's making. You feel me? Like, boom, it's literally making a bearish downtrend pattern. If you can't see it, hold on, this is what it looks like right here. It's literally the exact same thing. I know people say, yo man, this is simple stuff. This is easy stuff. It is simple. The market can only go up or down. You feel me? So um, if I did trade Bitcoin, like meaning if I bought it and sold it and stuff, I really wouldn't be worried. I would just be selling Bitcoin right now. You feel me? But at the end of the day, I don't. I invest in Bitcoin, which means that I only want Bitcoin to go up. And the shit is going down, so <clears throat> um, I'm losing bread right now. Uh, if you can't see the pattern, if you, you can change it to a line chart, that'll help you see the pattern a little bit easier. And boom, it's literally making the exact same pattern. Now, it's not going to be perfect like this every single time. But if you can see the similarities in the patterns, then you can literally make money from it. All right. Um, but yeah, man, that's that's Bitcoin. There's something else that I was going to say, but I low-key forgot. We can look at, uh, let's look at US 30. <clears throat> For US 30, um, it actually dropped too as well. Now, I trade US 30, so like... Throughout this big drop, I was still able to make some money. Um, I was still able to make some money throughout this drop. But at, this, uh, at the same time, like just the fact that I'm seeing the shit drop so significantly and I'm seeing everything drop like this is crazy. Now, US 30, um, US 30, Nas 100, they look the same. You feel me? They move kind of similar. You, like you can see how similar these two trends are. It's not perfect, but you know they move similarly. Um, even Bitcoin and Ethereum, they move similar similarly. So like this is Bitcoin, and then this is Ethereum. So like the same way how um, Bitcoin dropped like this, Ethereum <laughs> dropped like this as well. You feel me? And same thing, Ethereum made the same exact pattern. Uh, and this is USD JPY. I don't trade USD JPY at all. But the only reason why I have this pulled up is because, like, everybody in the little threads comment, they was all saying something about um, the Japan economy or something. Like, yeah, man, Japan's going to shit or something like that. So, like, I looked at it and I'm like, damn, like, Japan, uh, the USDJPY has been dropping for for an entire month. And this right here is, is actually beautiful price action. Like, if you really look at it, because look... <laughs> This is just, look, man, like, this is not cap. Look at the pattern that it's making. It's literally the exact same thing. If I traded USDJPY, 
I would have been making bread this entire drop. I would have been selling that shit every single day. Every single day. But I don't. I stick to my rules. I don't trade any Forex pairs. I only trade US 30 and I invest in Bitcoin. So I just wanted to show y'all this because uh, people said that everything, people saying that this whole crash has something to do with Japan. And I don't know. If y'all know anything about that, just let me, let me know in the comments. Now, the fact, oh, I know what I was going to say. The fact that Bitcoin is dropping, it's not really a bad thing. The only bad thing is that I see the money that I had in my account and the money that I have now is like, damn, like that shit hits. It hurts my heart. You feel me? Make my stomach hurt. But a good thing about it is that now, instead of me having to buy Bitcoin at 60000 now I have an opportunity to buy Bitcoin at 50000 56000 You feel me? And I mean, as far as me, I feel like Bitcoin will at least come down to like, I feel like it'll, I feel like it'll retest this little area about 54000 and if Bitcoin comes down to 54,000, I will buy it again. I did buy more Bitcoin as this drop happened. You can see that today so far, it did make like a little retracement. So you feel me? Um, I am in profit from the investment that I made um, yesterday, but I need that joint to go up. So as far as me, I will have to see how today's candle close and then tomorrow, how tomorrow candles candle closes. And then I would know what to do. I would know like, okay, bet. It looks like uh, Bitcoin is back bullish again. But as, as of right now, Bitcoin is definitely bearish. Um, it's not a horrible thing just because now you can get it for a discount. You can literally buy Bitcoin right now for a discount. So I know a lot of people, like if you're not investing in Bitcoin, now is probably a good time. Like I'm not gonna give you all financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, nothing like that. But I will say that I ain't buying Bitcoin right now. I've been buying Bitcoin for a long time. I've been telling y'all to buy Bitcoin back and the shit was $20,000. You feel me? And I was telling everybody, well, I was telling everybody what I was doing and I wanted it to go up, but I, I've been talking about Bitcoin going back to 50,000. I was talking about that years ago. You feel me? So yeah, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this in the comments, man. Are you trading? Do you trade Bitcoin? And it's not just Bitcoin that dropped. I know like the stock market dropped. Um, uh, the stock market dropped all pretty much cryptos dropped even all of the the mean coins that people got i mean the altcoins coins that people have of uh, all of like the uh, regular cryptos pretty much everything is dropping right now so i don't know what's going on right now man and the fact that uh warren buffett sold 75 billion dollars worth of stocks is is interesting because at the end of the day if you don't know what to do you need to find somebody who has what you want and you need to do what they do so like if I want to be rich, if I want to be a wealthy investor and I see that Warren Buffett sold mad stocks, he knows something. You feel me? You need to follow what the wealthy do. You need to follow what they do. So, yeah. Um, that's the end of this video. If you're not subscribed already, click subscribe, catch the way, join the family. Let me know how I feel about the markets, man. Are you up right now? Are you making money from the drop, from the crash? Because some people are making mad money right now. Um, if you want to get the same broker as me, which is Coinex, Coinex is, Coinex is the broker that I use. The link is in the description down below. Yes, you can use it in the United States. Yes, they are a good broker. All right. Um, like the video if you enjoyed this video, all that good stuff. I got a flight to catch. I appreciate y'all. Stay cool. Stay safe out here in these streets, man. Most of all, stay wavy, my friends. Stay wavy because waves don't die. Peace. They call me side so fly, but I am not playing. I put all my money on the blockchain, put it all up in crypto, hungry, hungry like a hippo, hard flow so she tiptoed, you ain't know that I was lit ho, you ain't know I'm always jet lag, I blow back and go get mo, playing bitches like piano.